Founded in 1919 in the Netherlands, KLM prides itself on being the oldest airline still operating under its original name. The airline, which has long been associated with Boeing's narrowbody, 737, recently caused a stir when it revealed its plans for the A321neo. So, what are these plans? Why is it so surprising? Find out in today's episode. But before we start, if you're new, please leave a like and subscribe to help us build this channel. And you'll also be the first to see our new content in the future. Now let's dive in. KLM Royal Dutch Airlines has welcomed the first Airbus A321neo after landing at Amsterdam Airport Schiphol. The arrival of the new aircraft is an important step in the rigorous innovation program initiated by KLM to support cleaner, quieter, and more efficient flight operations. From mid-September, the aircraft will begin serving a number of European destinations. I've been looking forward to this with great anticipation. The arrival of the first A321neo marks the start of replacing our Boeing 737 fleet. The A321neo produces less noise and CO2 and therefore contributes significantly to a cleaner, quieter future. It also offers more comfort. I am looking forward to see how our passengers will experience the new aircraft. Marianne Rintel, President and CEO, KLM. The A321neo will begin services to Copenhagen, Berlin, and Stockholm from mid-September, followed by Paris, Prague, and Vienna. KLM will add three new A321neo to its fleet this year. With the new aircraft, KLM continues its tradition of giving its aircraft unique names. Various themes have appeared over the past 104 years, from members of the royal family to bridges, aviation pioneers, and national parks. This time, KLM employees were allowed to choose the theme. Butterflies emerged as the winning theme, which ties in nicely with the transformation we're embarking on with the new fleet. The names of the first four A321neo aircraft will be Swallowtail, Peach Blossom, Common Brimstone, and Clouded Magpie, said CEO Margin Rental. The introduction of the A321neo also sees an update to its livery. This small change will retain the iconic blue and white color scheme. However, the design lines separating the two colors will be extended, wrapping completely around the nose of the aircraft. KLM will also add a new sunglass-style black lining around the cockpit windows. The airline says this change will ensure that in the event of an emergency replacement, a new nose cone can be fitted without interrupting the distinctive blue lines. The aircraft is part of a major deal announced on the 16th of December 2021 that includes a firm order for 100 Airbus A320neo and A321neo aircraft to renew the fleets of KLM and Transavia Netherlands and to renew and expand the fleet of Transavia France. 60 purchase rights have also been secured. The airline will invest 7 billion euros in a fleet renewal program over the next few years, representing a significant portion of the company's total portfolio. On European routes, KLM will replace its aging Boeing 737 with Airbus A320neo and A321neo aircraft. At KLM City Hopper, the new E2 models will join its Embraer 175 and 190 fleet. For intercontinental flights, KLM will add five new Boeing 787 followed by Airbus A350 to replace its aging 777 and A330. Finally, KLM has ordered four A350F for its cargo division to replace its 747 freighters. KLM's move to Airbus narrowbody aircraft is largely due to changes in the airline industry and its specific operational needs. As fuel costs rise, airlines are looking for more fuel-efficient aircraft. Narrowbody aircraft, such as the A321neo, are typically more fuel-efficient than widebody aircraft, especially on short-haul routes. And with increased globalization and the rise of low-cost carriers, the demand for short-haul travel has increased significantly. Narrowbody aircraft are better suited for these routes due to their smaller size and lower operating costs. KLM, like many other airlines, has sought to modernize its fleet to improve efficiency, reduce maintenance costs, and enhance passenger comfort. Airbus narrowbody aircraft promise to offer the latest technology and features. It is also natural to want to expand its network and reach new destinations. Narrowbody aircraft allow them to serve smaller airports and open up new routes that wide-body aircraft cannot. By diversifying its fleet with narrowbody Airbus aircraft, KLM can adapt to changing market conditions, improve operational efficiency, and expand its network. This first A321neo and subsequent deliveries will gradually replace the 737 next generation. 
both are two of the most popular narrow-body aircraft in the world. They each have their own advantages, but they also have significant differences. Thanks for sticking with us until this point. If you are new, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new aviation news. We would appreciate it if you comment below and share this video with others if you find it useful. Now, let's look at fuel efficiency. The A321 NEO is considered to be significantly more efficient than the 737 next generation. This is all thanks to new engines, improved aerodynamics, and a lighter weight. This helps reduce operating costs and minimize environmental impacts. Therefore, despite being a very successful aircraft line in terms of fuel, it still cannot compare with the narrow-body aircraft of the European manufacturer. The NEO also has a superior range of 7,400 kilometers compared to the 5,600 kilometers. This allows it to fly longer flights without refueling. The 737 is more suitable for short and medium haul flights. Airbus aircraft can also carry more passengers than the 737 due to its wider fuselage. And as mentioned, the NEO aircraft, thanks to its high efficiency and technical improvements, also has an advantage in operating cost as well as environmental impact compared to Boeing aircraft. In general, the choice between the A321 NEO and the 737 nanograms will depend on the specific needs of each airline. If fuel efficiency, range, passenger capacity, and operating costs are important, the NEO is a good choice. However, the 737 nanograms is still an acceptable choice for airlines that need a narrow-body aircraft with lower initial costs. Cabin design KLM will benefit greatly from the aircraft's modern cabin design as the manufacturer focuses on passenger comfort. The A321 NEO has a wider fuselage than its predecessor, the A321 CEO, providing more space for passengers. The cabin has a higher ceiling, creating a more airy feel. It also has a larger overhead bin, allowing passengers to store more carry-on luggage. In addition, the wider seats compared to those on many other narrow-body aircraft provide more leg and elbow room. The headrests are adjustable to provide optimal comfort for passengers of all heights. The cabin also features LED lighting, which can be adjusted to create different moods and improve passenger comfort. Modern features such as larger windows than previous A321 models give passengers a better view of the outside. Many airlines offer wireless charging stations on board, allowing passengers to charge their devices without cables. The A321 NEO is often equipped with a modern in-flight entertainment system, providing passengers with a wide selection of movies, TV shows, music, and games. By the way, the airline also recently announced that it will launch a new flight from Amsterdam to Portland. Starting in late October 20th, 24, KLM will operate these transatlantic flights three times a week in the winter and five times a week in the summer. This new flight is KLM's 21st milestone in North America. These flights will be operated by Boeing's 787-9 Dreamliner aircraft. Passengers can expect 30 seats in world business class, 21 in premium comfort, and 224 in economy class. This new route will satisfy unmet demand for flights between Amsterdam and Portland, especially for travelers who prefer nonstop flights. As the economies of both regions continue to grow, the demand for nonstop flights is likely to increase. Amsterdam serves as a major gateway to Europe, providing convenient connections to a variety of European destinations. Meanwhile, Portland is a thriving business hub, particularly in the technology, sustainability, and outdoor industries. KLM's extensive global network could attract passengers from a variety of regions, making the route viable. While the route may face competition from other airlines or indirect flight options, KLM's strategic position and the growing demand between Amsterdam and Portland suggest great potential for success. In conclusion, KLM's decision to introduce the Airbus A321 NEO marks a significant shift in its fleet strategy, emphasizing fuel efficiency, passenger comfort, and environmental sustainability. This move is a part of a broader modernization effort that includes not only replacing aging aircraft, but also expanding the airline's reach with new routes. The aircraft's advanced technology, superior range, and enhanced cabin design will undoubtedly offer a better experience for passengers while contributing to KLM's goal of reducing its carbon footprint. As the airline continues to evolve and adapt to the changing demands of the aviation industry, this strategic investment in modern aircraft is poised to strengthen its competitive edge and ensure a more sustainable future for the airline. 
KLM's innovation and commitment to excellence promise exciting developments ahead, both in Europe and on transatlantic routes.